This is the Grow My Clinic podcast by Clinic Mastery, where we help you deliver amazing client experiences to grow your clinic. Welcome to another episode of the Grow My Clinic podcast. My name is Ben Lynch, and today we're talking about another client experience that I was on the receiving end of. This, again, is a very, very, very subtle change that you can make. For some of you, I bet that you might think that this one could be a little over the top, but let's test it out. I had this experience while I was in the beautiful country of Singapore. The people there are just so warm, so genuine and friendly. I absolutely love my time there. I've been back multiple times. The first time I went, there was something that stood out for me. Little one percenters. Now, I don't know what sort of clinic you run, but if you're looking to provide some level of premium service, some sort of high-touch, high-class type of a service, I bet you'll like this one because it's about the little things, the little gestures, especially the ones that are subconscious, that patients will pick up on and feel valued. Before I dive into it, I want to just ask you this question here. When you're out shopping anywhere at a retail store and you purchase something with your card, your credit card, let's say, and the person behind the desk hands your card back to you, just think of that moment right there when they give your card back to you. If you haven't paid past, like done the tap and wave thing, if they've taken your card or at a restaurant, and they give it back to you, think of that particular gesture. What happens? Usually, they will hand it back with one hand, or worse, they will put it on the desk or table that's in between you both for you to pick up and put back in your wallet. Now, for me, this is a big one because I bet you work pretty hard. And your credit card, as much as a piece of plastic, it's a representation of your hard work. Hopefully, you haven't got too many big bills. (laughs) But it is a representation of your money, your bank account, the value you've provided to other people and the value they've exchanged and given to you. It's your money, your finances, some of the most precious stuff to you. And on that card, you have access to be able to spend it with that particular person, company, business. That card represents quite a bit. And I get so frustrated when somebody just throws it or slaps it onto the table in front of us when quite clearly, quite clearly, they could have handed it back to me in person because it was an extra 10 centimeters away from them to just give it to my hand. Now, if they do give it back one-on-one, it's usually just a look away gesture. Here's your card. Thanks very much. Goodbye and good night. But there was something very different about the Singaporean culture that if you've ever been, you've experienced. And what you'll notice is that it carries through into fine dining or even some fine accommodation places, even locally, that you might uh, have been to. And it's this. They use two hands. They use two hands. Now, maybe at the time, consciously, you don't really think much of it, but you quite clearly distinguish a better or more premium place or experience who will hand over your credit card back to you with two hands instead of one or a look away gesture or worse, slapping it on the table at a fine dining restaurant, hotel, they will hand your card back with two hands. Perhaps it's something that's more common in the Asian population, I'm not sure, but it's one thing that I've noticed a hell of a lot in that particular culture is the respect that is shown when handing back a possession, especially a credit card with two hands. This is where it gets weird. You might be thinking, Ben, that's over the top. That's crazy. I wouldn't do that. But if you've ever been on the receiving end of it, 
you subconsciously know that the respect that's shown to your credit card or belonging or possession is there. The intent, the focus from the giver to you, the receiver, is there. That I respect, I value that this is yours and I'm giving it to you, giving it back to you. Two hands. Most people won't say much, but it is registering subconsciously. And there are still plenty of people who over my time that I've done this gesture for and continue to do will pick up and notice it and they'll say something. You could be handing back your client's glasses, their shoes, handing over an exercise sheet, uh, a piece of equipment, their credit card, whatever it is, I challenge you if you're up for it, if you resonate with this message of respecting someone's possession, and especially in the case of their credit card, to give it back with two hands. At first, it can feel a little bit dicky, but if you persist with it, perhaps even test it out or trial it out, (laughs) you can test out handing it back with two hands. This is a gesture that I notice with premium places and also with uh, perhaps some more caring, respectful cultures to hand back the card with two hands. This is an experience that I noticed first time in Singapore many years ago that has stuck with me. It's a practice I've continued to do and share with clinics and especially receptionists who are often dealing with the card of the uh, the paying client and handing that back. And uh, no one has had any bad remarks from using it. So I challenge you, if you so desire, to use this one percenter. It's nothing really uh, off your back to add an extra hand to the delivery of a card of a possession, an item to a patient or a client. Let me tell you this. What it will do for you is it'll focus your attention on the actual giving and that exchange between you and the other person because you have to focus both of your hands are there you can't do the look away give Um, if you do it look really awkward (laughs) but you've got to focus your attention on the thing you're handing over which in turn focuses the attention of the other person on the thing you're handing over and increases the connection of you two at that moment That is a subtle one percenter about the client experience, showing your respect and care for that exchange and every exchange. That is the challenge. I hope that serves you well today, tomorrow, or next week. Until next time, action of fraction, use this one. Use it. I challenge you. See you guys. This is the Grow My Clinic podcast by Clinic Mastery, where we help you deliver amazing client experiences to grow your clinic.